to Sarah SoCal Garden. So today in this episode I am going to be sowing all of the seeds that I got from the dollar store and if you want to watch the haul that I did um, I'll leave the link somewhere here or I'll also leave the link down below. I have lots of things that need to be sown. Beans, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers and I have enough containers that I collected in order for me to sew these. That's why I've been holding off on sewing these because I needed to collect these. And basically these videos, the $5 garden series videos, are going to be their own videos. So this first video will be of me sewing the seeds, so it should be relatively short. And then the next video I'll give you guys an update and so on and so forth so you guys can just Go to the playlist and, and watch it and see the uh, progress. That's one of our hawks. I, we have um, hawks that live here in the um, trees, eucalyptus trees behind us. They're great, but they are really loud. <laughs> um, if you have hawks in your area, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, enough babbling from me. Let's just go on with the video and get sewing. First, I'm going to be sewing this tomato. This is the Rutgers variety. So what I'm going to do is put, try to put two in each. I've been having some really good, um, uh, germ really good germination with my other tomato seeds so and I still have a lot more seed left if you guys can see that the next thing I'll be sowing is this large cherry tomato and I love cherry tomatoes honest next to heirloom tomatoes are first and then I love cherry tomatoes I think that they're and then I'm gonna add three per module okay so next I'm gonna be sewing this habanero and I've sewn habaneros already I, I think I have I'm pretty sure I do and I'm gonna sow all of these seeds in here because there isn't too many seeds so I'll do three and not all of my chili and pepper seeds germinate I noticed that my success with tomato seeds germinating is amazing but when it comes to peppers and chilies it's not as good now the thing with chilies and tomatoes is you don't want to cover them or bury them too much just enough to where you don't see the seed anymore next seed I'm going to be sowing is this California Wonder pepper and I don't know why they call it California Wonder Maybe it was bred in California. Not sure, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. But for 25 cents, this is a good amount of seeds that you get, which I'm really impressed with. So next I'm going to be sowing this pepper. This is the Grand Bell mix. These look so pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thir
Next seed I'm going to be sowing is this Kentucky Wonder pole bean. And I love growing pole beans. I think they're some of the easiest types of beans to grow. Beans, all beans are usually easy to grow, but pole beans especially. So I'm just going to put one seed per module. So on to the cucumbers. The first cucumber I'll be sowing out of the three is the Muncher Cucumber. And I believe this variety is a little smaller. Alright, that's how many seeds you get. So I'm going to sow five. few left over. I'm going to be sowing this Market More Heirloom variety. I was really excited to find an heirloom variety at the dollar store. So I'm just going to be sowing four in these. The last cucumber I'll be sowing is this National Pickling Cucumber. So for this one, I'm going to do five. Next, moving on to the squash, I'm going to be first sowing this heirloom early summer crookneck. And let's see, I'll do three in here. Alright, so I'm just going to do two of those. That should be plenty. I have a feeling my garden is going to look like a jungle this year. <laughs> Next squash I'm going to be sowing is this early yellow straight neck. I've grown this before. And um, not from seed though. I had an okay success. I got a couple of squashes, but... Not too many. I think the one that I grew last year, it grew like a zucchini. Next thing I'm going to be sowing is this Walton butternut squash. So I'm going to sew three in each. Next variety I'll be sewing is this Table Queen Acorn Squash. This will be the first of the season. 
and I love acorn squash. So I'm just sewing three. So the next thing that I'm going to be sewing is this Hale's Best Jumbo Cantaloupe. And so I'm going to be sewing four each. Wow, the hawks are really at it today. I don't know what's going on out there. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be sewing is this Sugar Baby Watermelon. And Sugar Baby is a more compact variety. And this is supposed to be good if you're limited on space. Okay, so you get a, a nice amount of seeds there. So I'm going to sew four, three, four each. The last thing I'm going to be sewing is this wildflower blend. And this is a really big box of seed. So I'm going to be sewing them into these cups where I just punctured some holes in the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just very, very generously put a probably like a tablespoon in each cup. They don't need to be covered up that deep. So the way I'm going to be able to keep track of these seeds is basically I have been writing the name of what it is I'm sowing. I put today's date and then on the back I'm going to put, I put a $5 garden. So I know when I'm planting these out that this is part of a $5 garden. Just an easier way for me to keep track. Hey guys, so this is the tree of seedlings and then I have a another tray excuse my shadow hello <laughs> um, this is the other tray of seedlings so all the squash and watermelon I'm just going to give everything a nice good drink of water all right you guys that is going to be it for this garden video thank you so much for watching if you like this video and you want to stay tuned for future videos of me showing how this $5 garden series is going to turn out. Click that subscribe button so that, that you can see more of my videos. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just love being a part of the gardening community on YouTube. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's just really nice. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching and happy gardening everybody. Bye.